by the powers of land and sea, be obedient unto me. Wand, pentacle, and the sword, hearken ye unto my word. Cords and censers, scorch and knife, waken all ye into life. Powers of the witch's blade, come ye as the charge is made. Queen of heaven, queen of hell, send your aid into the spell. I'd like to be able to fly. I'd like to be able to take my, my broom and say, up, and it jumps into my hand and fly away, but I can't get to do that. Can you get yours to do that? <laughs> I'd love to be able to wiggle my nose and make my house clean itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One kid said to me, remember uh, a few years ago, a uh, kid said to me, you are a fat Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> my name is uh, Bill. Uh, I also go by Morpheus, which is my Wiccan name. Um, I'm a high priest of a coven of the goddess Moon and very active in the Wiccan pagan community here in Orlando. I'm also uh, a grandfather and I'm married to uh, my wonderful wife Nancy who goes by Danu and I'm a witch. Witchcraft is the art and science of causing change to occur uh, to our will. Wiccans do believe in God uh, we also believe in, uh, in polarity. That means if there's a god, there has to be a goddess. A goddess is nothing more than a female deity. The triple goddess, it is uh, three aspects of the goddess, uh, starting from the maiden, the mother, and then the crone. Wicca and witchcraft is popular with women because for the first thing, it's a goddess religion. Even though the god is very important in the craft, but it's more focused on the goddess. It's a religion that empowers women, and uh, it, it, they are very revered in, in this religion. Men look up to women and not down on them. Magic is not like anything you've seen on TV, like on Charmed or Buffy or any of those shows. I can't walk through the walls. I've tried several times and hurt myself. I can't uh, snap my fingers and disappear or wiggle my nose like Samantha. But what magic really is, is um, a way of uh, of believing that uh, you can make your will come to happen. It's almost like a prayer. Uh, magic and spells are like prayers with props. If you've ever um, blew out a birthday candle and made a wish, you were doing a spell. So in a way, that's a form of witchcraft. It's called uh, candle magic. There's no such thing as white or black magic. Magic is magic. Um, it's the person who wields the magic. Like if you're not a nice person and you intend to do bad magic to someone, then it's not the magic that's bad, it's the person. When we look at these things, and they look dark, and they look mysterious, and you have a lot of skulls and underworld symbology here, it's nothing to be feared. It's um, actually very symbolic of nature. Um, and it's, none of this is not the devil. It doesn't symbolize Satan. We don't even believe in Satan. A lot of mistruths and half-truths and misdirections been given about what the pentacle really means. Uh, the pentacle, and it's a five-pointed star with a circle around it. Um, it is the symbol of life. It represents the four elements, earth, air, fire, water, and then the fifth element, spirit. When the pentacle is pointed up, it's bringing energy from ourselves to everyone else. So uh, if it's pointed up, you're sending energy, you're sending wisdom, you're sending love. If it's pointed down, you're receiving wisdom and receiving energy. A coven is a group of witches that uh, meet together for the reason of celebrating and worshiping uh, our God and our goddess. A ritual is um, a form of worship for us. Uh, just like uh, in Christianity, people go to the church and they have a service. Um, some people, if you're a Buddhist or a Hindu, go to the temple. Uh, we have our temple uh, usually in nature. If you're like me, we have our temple here in the house, and we set it up, and we have our ritual. The main steps of a ritual um, are cleansing, uh, casting of the circle, um, purification of the circle, and purification of the people in the circle, calling down your, calling on your deities, your goddess and your god, and then doing the working, whether it be a spell, some form of magic, or celebrating a, a seasonable uh, uh, festival. Our most um, 
important rule is called the Wiccan Reed. And it simply states, harm none, but do what you will. But harm none. We don't believe in hurting anyone. We don't believe in animal sacrifices, child sacrifices, hurting anything or anyone, because to us, all life is sacred. Wicca, witchcraft, and paganism is very misunderstood. Uh, we're no different than anyone else. Uh, we have lives normal, just like everyone else. Uh, very hectic sometimes, sometimes very mundane, very regular, very boring. Um, the only difference of us is that we uh, worship um, many of the same holidays you do, but in a different way. Um, our form of worship is not uh, evil, it's not uh, dangerous, it's uh, very close to nature. We worship and honor nature. And um, we could be your neighbor, we could be the person in the grocery store next to you, we could be one of your teachers at school. And uh, you really can't tell who we are. Um, and uh, all we ask is that um, let us worship and express our spirituality the way that we want to, and we will do the same for everyone else.